Hey, man. How are you? James, how you doing, brother? Hey, not too bad. Hey, I appreciate you taking the time. Uh, I know, obviously, you're a pretty busy guy. No problem, brother. My name is Matt Reisinger. I'm a builder in Austin, Texas. My building company is called Reisinger Build. We do uh, whole house remodels and new construction. I kind of think of myself as a general contractor because I like uh, both new construction and remodels. And I have this whole nother side business that started uh, years ago on YouTube called The Build Show. Uh, and I actually have a second company now called Build Productions that shoots my YouTube videos. And now I've got a bunch of other contributors as well uh, shooting videos on my buildshownetwork.com platform which I kind of coined, uh, or I kind of call it Netflix for Builders, uh, where we've got free content from all across the country at different job sites, different builders, one architect, and a bunch Excellent. of new contributors coming soon. I, I love the humility that you say my side job is doing this filming. because I, I, And maybe this is me stepping over a line to say, but I would say you're one of the more well-known people in remodeling. Thanks, man. Appreciate that. It's crazy. I mean, it was uh, just a just a deal to help promote my company that I started doing in 2007 blogging. And then 2008, I started on YouTube and it's ballooned into a whole nother business, which has been a lot of fun. When you were growing up, did you ever have that sense that and, and maybe I'm alone that I sort of had an internal sense of maybe where my life is going or what I might be destined for? Did you ever have that sense that man, I belong on camera. Like I'm pretty articulate or, or like people are going to know me. No, I never had a desire to be, um, I don't know, for lack of a better term, famous. I'm certainly not famous to the general public, but these days when I go to like the International Builders Show or the Remodeling and Deck Expo, a ton of people know me and like, you know, I'm walking down the hall and they're like, hey, Matt, how's it going? And I'm still like, how do you know me again? <laughs> like I'm just a nerdy builder that shoots some videos on the job site and and you watch those videos you don't but, get comfortable uh, uh, with that kind of recognition I I mean to some extent just because it happens more but it still is really weird when I'm in a non-builder setting and someone comes up to me and knows me like uh you know I was in the airport last week and uh an IT professional who was flying who's looking to build a house in the next two or three years flags me down and treated me like I was, you know, some celebrity and, uh, my house under construction where I'm talking to you from now about twice a week, someone drives by real slow. Uh, and I'm always like, I sense. bet, I, I bet they're coming to see me. And then, then, and then five minutes later, they drive by again, real slow. Uh, <laughs> and as long as I'm not in the middle of a conference call or something, I'll walk out and be like, do you? And they're like, oh my gosh, I love your videos. I, I know this feels like I'm stalking you, but I saw your address in the plans <laughs> and, you know, we're here on vacation and I thought we'd come see your house, blah, blah, blah. So it's, wow. it's fun. I love it, man. Cause you know, builders are real people. They, uh, they're normal men and women, just like you and me that love their families and are just trying to make an honest living. And, uh, and so for me to be uh, a little bit of a mentor to some of those people. Uh, it's paying back for the mentors that train me, especially when I started my company in my early 30s. I have four or five builders that I owe a, a debt of gratitude that will never get paid off, that mentored me, that uh, allowed me to call them, that uh, allowed me to walk job sites with them, ask questions. Uh, and now I get to be that for the next generation of builder behind me, uh, just to a larger audience, maybe, instead of just five. I feel like we work in an industry that while not the nuances aren't really well known to the public, it's still kind of a really public facing industry because everyone kind of deals with it. And so people form mm -hmm. a lot of opinions about people who work in remodeling and construction at large, but they don't really understand the diversity of personalities and backgrounds uh, totally. and experiences that, that people kind of carry with them into the remodeling business. So you started totally. your business at 30. Where does remodeling start for you as a sort of thought in your mind that that might be something that you could do professionally? So James, it actually goes back to your other question, which was when you were a kid, did you ever think that you would get into, uh, you know, filming? And 
my rem- my remodeling um, kind of uh, uh, story is that in probably around sixth grade, which for me was probably, I don't know, 82 or 83, 84, I started watching This Old House. Uh, and I watched oh. it with my dad, and I loved it. Uh, and my dad was always pretty handy. He was in the steel industry. I grew up in Pittsburgh, PA. And then in junior high, uh, the church that I belonged to uh, had this really cool ministry we started getting involved with in Pittsburgh, my hometown, where they would send junior high and high school age kids like me to the inner city, Pittsburgh, where there was these gorgeous hundred year old mansions that had been basically abandoned by rich people as they moved to the suburbs in the 40s and 50s, let's say, uh, you know, kind of post-World War II. And downtown has uh, had kind of really been dilapidated. And it was now, generally speaking, owned by African-American families that maybe were lower income. And here I was, this kid from kind of the nice suburbs, mainly white suburbs, and I got to go down to these houses with this church ministry and live down there in these quote unquote bad neighborhoods, as my mom <laughs> called them, and meet these people and get to know them and work on their houses. And we were doing, uh, you know, porch remodeling where they had deck boards that were literally rotted out that grandma was stepping around so that she could get to her front door uh, or repairing concrete stoops that had huge spalling and uh, other issues. And man, it was so satisfying to like take this this old house where I'm watching these pros. And then here I am a junior high kid and feeling like, oh, this is my version of this old house. I love this. And getting to know these homeowners that had a different economic, different, dis- different social background. Uh, I remember one lady specifically uh, was an older woman who didn't know how to read. I'd never met anyone who didn't know how to read. Uh, yeah. and she, she was as smart and as nice as you could be. And she was saving up, uh, to get this, this, uh, online program. I can't remember the name of it, like reading is fundamental or something like that. And I, it was so formative in my mind. Uh, and she was so appreciative that a bunch of dorky junior high kids would come, uh, you know, fix her house. 